Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Thanks for waiting, and welcome to In Your Face, another fine episode brought to you by Something Else Wrestling. I'm Action, the Brain Shakespeare, and with me, as always, is the voice of the people, public opinion. A bam. Oh, whoa. Out of nowhere. He's hitting us. Uh, and we've come out of nowhere to present you a delightful hour of pro wrestling. Maybe a little more. Who knows? Um, not that much else to say. Let's let's just get right uh, to the action. We got we got a match right at the top of the card to get to. There's nothing else but something else. All right. Our first match of the evening has a, has a bit of a a little bit of personal stakes for one of our competitors, but we'll get to that in just a moment. There's, you know, you gotta have personal stakes if you're, you know, you gotta fight for what you believe in, what you feel. Here he is, Dan Kushida, coming out with a bit of a bone to pick. Got word that he that he requested this specifically from Harvey Gatling. This match. Oh. Truck monkeys getting to work. Thousand apes on thousand typewriters. Punching production buttons. Um <laughs> but yeah, Stan Kushida has a bone to pick. And I gotta say it's a hell of a bone. If you're gonna pick a bone, not much of a bigger one you can pick than this guy right here. Extremely big bone. Damn. Yeah. Going toe to toe with the baddest motherfucker on the world. Who's that? Oh. Juggernaut. <laughs> That's right. It's the Juggernaut, bitch. And he planted. William Strong Dick, six feet under the ring. That dude just got was a red smear, and I'm not just talking the jumpsuit. Had to be carried out by paramedics and also Harv or Henry Harrington. Dan Dan's looking resolved though. He's looking ready. Just because the tag team's broken up, it looks like uh. Looks like he's uh, still fighting for the honor. I mean, yeah, they... Some things are for life. The honor of heaven. Ooh. Juggy showcasing his power early on, but Dan is no slouch in the power department himself. <laughs> that dude is not a small man, but... God, the Juggernaut just has a way of making everybody look <laughs> kind of puny. Oh! The nice. high kicks! Planted that one right on the chin. Ooh. Dodging them hands. Sit out jawbreaker. Already kind of targeting the head area. Kind of looking to... Uh, Looking to soften up that helmet for the bicycle kick. Oh, oh God, he's doing that elevated wrist lock thing. Ugh. Duh. Just carrying him like it's nothing. Thanks, my elbows and shoulders hurt just looking at it. Oh, comes back with a swing and neck breaker, though. Focused offense. It's the name and of the Dan game. Dan is 
You think Dan has figured out something we don't know about the juggernaut? Going after the leg. Trying to weaken the base of the juggernaut. I don't know how I don't know how successful that's gonna be. Slams into the mat. Oh. Help a drop to the ass. Come on, Dan. Fight. Fight for your boy. He's showing the spirit. Yeah, he's, he's all strikes. over the juggernaut here. <laughs> oh, just judoed him. Oh! <laughs> oh, the oh, I think he's only made him mad, though. That. Oh! Nope. <laughs> it went for the it ducked the clothesline into a flapjack. Oh, he's hoisting him up for the red, white, blue bomb. Not quite enough, but it got him a two. Oh! <laughs> Springboard elbow. Big collision. Got him rocked. Oh, never mind. Talking out leg sweep. <laughs> it's like a Russian leg sweep, but with the juggernaut. Sends him to the corner. He's got to keep this momentum going. Nearly avoids death. Yeah, this has got to get. Yeah, get, give him a wide berth there, buddy. You're not gonna win that out that contest. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Right to the turnbuckle. Dan is pissed. More of that focused offense. I like this. Oh god. <laughs> And just like that, the power slam. Oh, the ground and pound. Fist oh, no. the size of your head. Oh, God. That's... Is there even a head left over there? Okay, no, he's good. <laughs> Couldn't see it over That's... his chest. Juggernaut getting the chance to do stuff like that is what uh, led things to become so dire for, for poor William. Voice him up for the snake eyes. Dan keeping, keeping up the block, snapmare, gut kick, gut kick, gut kick. <laughs> gut kick city, bitch. <laughs> He's going for it. Oh, and the backbreaker. Oh, shit, with the midnight drive. Shout out to Stig. Oh. Not, not enough to keep the juggernaut down for long, though. Just kind of jogs through them. There's so much, you can't even resist it. Oh, God, but these deadlifts. Look at Dan, that boy's torso. though. Dan's a force to be reckoned with. I'd let him lift me. Oh, he's, call he's oh. going for it. Oh. The scissor kicks. Well, that could be it. Let's see out. Oh, he does it! Dan Kushida taking revenge. Well, I mean, this was a this was a match kind of built out of a uh, vindiction a little, but like this can't go go unnoticed. That's a big victory for Dan Kushida. Not everybody who beats the Juggernaut is like what Naruto did, and I'm sure somebody else has, but he's. He's no, you know, I mean, if you're standing, standing in the same rank as Naruto, former na full master champion, <laughs> means something. As much as, as much as it pains you to say it. All right. Love him or hate him. You gotta was. respect Naruto. <laughs> I mean, kind of. All right, folks. Moving right along, I'm getting word that there's something happening backstage. Something. What could happened? be something big? Boom boom. Oh, it's it's big, all right. Is 
the big chin. Right. The Big J train showing no sign of showing da slowing down. Looking to, to follow up that big victory over Hurricane Yuri. With a yeah. match against the, the hardcore the hardcore dude, Sin Zapatis. Was I know he was he of... was a one time champ. Yeah, no no okay. defenses. I believe he lost it to Yuri before. Oh, I, or I something. Know he... <laughs> yeah, he was in that kind of rigmarole. All right, up next though we got we got speaking of big though. We got some speaking of big speaking of extreme even. Our next uh women's qualifier, not the non tournament qualifier. Is up. Oh, I forgot to <laughs> change this. Original music, Alexia. I'm gonna have to file a dispute later. <laughs> so it goes. The song owns, though. Uh, well. Yeah. This is the season where a lot of our women's tag team competitors are uh, getting the chance to, to strut, show what they got. It's true. Big opportunities for normally tag competitors. Anybody can do it. Any gal with two hands is a fighting chance. Parts unknown. Or maybe Seattle, for some reason. <laughs> Might be a little uh, t parts unknown, Washington. You know. We got a lot of parts out here. There's, parts there's a lot of forests, <laughs> a lot of trees in Washington. And we got those in California. I have on good authority, but there's some very large trees in California. That's a myth. <laughs> but yes, Alexia, apostrophe, double A. We got a ladder match. Whoever takes the object. <laughs> you gotta have an object in a ladder match. In this case, it is the rights to be in the TLC match. And potentially right. be our next challenger. An open contract. Sign your name on the dotted line and earn your way into potential number one contendership. Big splash from Apostrophe. Oh. Hooks her up with an ease for that shin slash knee breaker. Oh, what kind of whirls around for it? Almost like a European uppercut, but man, she threw her whole body into that. Belly to back. Alexia in trouble. He's yeah, really. To, yeah, go ahead. Needs to, needs to start hitting the gas. Yeah, really feeling the size difference in this matchup. Just got to be careful. Phil, you got to kick that man's butt. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Something Else Universe. Oh, let's get fire enough chops. Shoulder block in the corner. Oh, oh, big shots, big shots. Pepperinner. Into a beal, god damn. 
with that bulldog. It's a lot of size difference to overcome for Alexia. She needs to really focus on on technique. Oof. <laughs> right now she needs to focus on not getting just completely potatoed. Ooh, nice little armor here from Apostrophe. A little surprisingly technical. Oh, the freaking gold dust thing. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> I honestly, yeah. I feel like they were calling that the crossroads for a while, but they, like, both kind of like how Twist of Fate has two versions, <laughs> but. Natural selection? Something like that. Ooh, big power slam from a curtain, curtain call. call? Might be May it. Could be. Could be. Final cut. <laughs> Actually, that one might be the final cut. I, I think the final cut is the L is a uh, where you drop a. It's like a. Well, there's no special or... name for that. That's a big headbutt. <laughs> and oh god, Alexia might already be out. They have just gotten headbutted. Apostery with the ladder. Climbs the ladder. She's got the object. Lexi needs to do. She needs to work fast. Oh. Oh, oh Apostrophe. gets kicked back though. Oh, no. apostrophe deciding she's not uh, done she, yet. No faith that she's gonna stay down and doesn't want to. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> whipped into the ladder. Oh. Northern lights onto the ladder. Oh my god. Hey. When you're fighting somebody bigger, there's no equalizer like a ladder. Yeah, no, she saw her spot and she took it. Oh, drop toe hold. That's how you know she's a good wrestler. Oh. Pretty good uh, power on display from uh, Alexia. Oh, God, Kippa from Apostrophe, though. Oh. That. Since to the corner. Ooh. Ooh. Big line. Oh god, just right under the ladder. <laughs> no superstition. <laughs> oh, sidewalk slams her under the ladder. Time it distorted a little bit. I mean, hey, I guess going under the ladder was unlucky for one of them. Yeah, no kidding. She might be out. This might... Yeah, apostrophe takes it. Sidewalk slam buried Alexia under the ladder and she... Go... <laughs> wins. This qualifying round. Congratulations to Apostrophe. Watch your ticket to the big TLC triple threat. Does she have an advantage having been the one to win the ladder match, which is going to be presumably the victory? It does give her a bit of muscle memory. I'm getting word once more that Zig has a scoop for us with none other than the commissioner, the entertainer, Harvey Gatling. Ooh. Oh, Harvey Gentley and the champ. Oh, the big man. Boob Marley. Jeez, I don't think I've ever gotten such a good look at the texture on his hands before. <laughs> <laughs> Guy needs to, to moisturize. Wait, there's more.
Not a single word from the champ. Not even a goose-like honk. Hmm. All right. Well, that's pretty exciting news. Oops, that's not the fucking right thing. <laughs> I, hit, I hit every button. Folks, we're going to we're going to set up our uh, our next tournament round, so just you wait. Boy, this is going to be the final two matches of round 1 tonight. The full round 2 bracket will be solidified decided. yeah decided solidified finalized half the competitors will have been eliminated <laughs> yeah, I know. there let's go to it Oh, once again, gonna have to make file a dispute later because <laughs> I forgot to change both of these. The other half of the Brooklyn Queens, Rihanna. Well, will they go? Will they go for two, or is she gonna be the one who uh, gets uh, get some single accolades? <laughs> I thought maybe they would give reference. No, it's your singles theme, but they can't both have the same thing. Same singles theme. That would make sense. Tis merely a throwback to their indie days. Yeah. It's a special night. They they don't get solos action much. Big ol' arms of Clover St. Patrick. That's right. The Irish cowgirl. Coming in from El Paso, Ireland. Dublin, Texas. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right, collar and elbow. Straight to it, traditional wrestling. Oh, and <laughs> gave way to fists and hammer blows from the big arms of Clover St. Patrick. Listen, you know, you can you can grab a headlock or you can punch. And Clover has made her decision. Gapes that uh that rear waist lock with the skill though. And power. Yeah. She's got she's got a pretty good mix of uh of technique and power, this uh this clover. Ah, uh, Rihanna <laughs> finds an opening with that jawbreaker and is trying to decide how to use it. Going for those those chicken legs. Rihanna, on the other hand, uh, much more flashy style most of the time. Ooh, very impressive knee breaker though. Keeping at it on the legs. Good thinking. Definitely not the strongest part of Clover. Ah, but jawbreaker in return.
Dropping that toe hold. Oh. Ah. Oh, jeez. Huge belly to belly. German suplexes are very cool, but the overhead belly to belly may be my favorite of the, the simple suplexes. Just the the sheer holy shit nature of, of the person fly, <laughs> just being flung. Yeah, Rihanna wrestling her down. Taking some shots. Of the more complicated that... suplexes, I gotta go half and half. I think that suplex kind of shocked uh, Rihanna's system a little bit. She's been showing some fire. Excellent camera shot there, ref. Ooh, but she keeps getting caught in these big old slams. Ooh. Drop toe <laughs> holded out of the air. That's how you know she's a great wrestler. And a nuzzle. <laughs> yeah, I'm not backing down though. Oh, rising knee. That's sick. Back elbow into another jawbreaker. Ref, ref giving Rihanna a little time to collect herself, actually. Extra second. Ooh, knee right in return. Oh, Doing hell receipts. Yeah. It's with the gut buster. Ooh, double hand chops. I don't know if stiff brawl was exactly what I expected out of Rihanna, but she's uh, playing Clover's game and uh, keeping pace. I mean... She's from Brooklyn. They get they raise them tough down there. Oh, it gets fired up. Clover separates. Oh, playing a little mind games. Oh, it looks like it paid off. Bamboozled her into that Ooh. scoop. The Irish curse backbreaker. <laughs> Oh, not enough. Just gets a two. Oh, Rihanna needs to make some things happen. Cool she's front a, drop kick. She's, uh, she's getting tenderized if Clover can... Uh... Oh, is she going to do it? She's oh, calling oh, for it. Something else in mind. Never mind. <laughs> the Texas pile driver. Ooh, Rihanna looks out of it. You're repositioning here, though. Will it be enough? Oh! Oh. Still, oh. The heart still burns. Now she got that insane clothesline. Oh, <laughs> rolls her under the ropes. Clover getting desperate. Stuns her against that turnbuckle. Oh, oh. Oh, maneuvers a quick pin. Reverses. Oh, and Clover just barely takes it. Oh. The fighting spirit of Rihanna almost turned that around, but she was just too savvy. Bear props to Rihanna for kicking out of that power driver. Oh, just did not. Just got reversed. With that pinning combination. A rough equation. But only so much you can do after such big head trauma. Well, we gotta move on to our final first round entry. Well, I'm hyped for this one. I gotta know. I'm also I excited. Right, 
nothing to it but to do it. Absolutely stunned at the outcome of that match. <laughs> She is warrior of love, Ashley McCain. That's right. Daughter of the daughter of the famous hangman Hank. Has had a pretty mixed singles career, but uh, made made a point to to uh, enter herself day one of the tournament alongside uh, Harmony Gray. Yeah. Looks like she had the a complete opposite end of the bracket. Ash may be a rookie, but she did not win over Grace Thoris. Ash nah, was sick that way. the world. Sala with some momentum coming into this, but uh, she can't take uh, Ash lightly. That hangman's neck breaker. It's a killer. Sawa is definitely someone who's also had her share of bad luck, but I think, yeah, I think she's pumped for this tournament. It's ready to notch her, uh, notch her belt with another win. Start entering the realm of the great ones. Live up to her yeah. namesake. We got we got two rookies. With, look with a lot to prove. Big names on their backs. I I have high expectations. I I think these two ladies are gonna tear it down. Let's see it. Ashley is ready. Right. Oh god, <laughs> they're right into each other. <laughs> Just a collision, immediate. <laughs> Whoa! Actually, looking to win the rumble. <laughs> Cat stuns her. Oh. Ooh, just a straight DDT. Oh. Busting out the classics. Sawa with the size advantage, making use of her, her extra reach to get those kicks in. Yeah, wow. <laughs> she didn't have to get very close to any of that. Ooh, stomping the mud hole in her. Oh, with the double birds. That's rude as hell. Wow. <laughs> okay, so starting up, man, no respect immediately. I kind of thought it would take a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe after a... <laughs> After somebody kicks out of something before the. Yeah. The Maybe it was just instinct. <laughs> you know, you start stomping a mud hole and sometimes it just gets to you. Ooh, went for the diving elbow, but got dodged. Comes in with the gut kick. Ooh, the, sl the open palm strikes! You gotta watch out for those. She's got a mean one. Ooh, Fez press. Everybody's paying homage. The classical oh, training. Yeah. Whips her around Ooh. into a beal. Saw so gain some separation. Oh! Series what? of kicks. Kick. Catches her in the dragon screw. Starts working that arm. Pretty smart play by uh, Misawa. Those arms are important for uh, that uh, the whole hang hangman's neckbreaker business. Ooh. Oh, that stomps and kicks. And more of that. <laughs> How are those? I don't. I'm not entirely sure what that is. 
Bridal carry Snapmare. Oh, now things are getting serious. <laughs> oh, the half and half. Or is that a Saito suplex? I can't ever keep track. I think that was a Saito. That would make sense. Ooh, the deadly elbows of Captain Slowa. Oh, Tilt the world backbreaker. Misawa has definitely taken control. Oh, with the reverse the flow! <laughs> Speaking of deadly elbows. Kicks out of it. Oh, but she's just setting her up for the Emerald Flosion! Right in the ropes, though. Did she get enough this time? Gather her wits. Oh! <laughs> Somehow, some way, Ashley McCain is still in this match. <laughs> Misawa is not letting up. Big, freaking kind of blockbuster suplex there. Oh God! Ashley. Ash is just walking into a wood chipper. But Went for the quick uh, pin, gave her a chance to give up, but she's still persevering. What well, she got in mind? Oh, maybe just maybe just looking for some breathing room. I don't know how much she got. Ooh, enough for a running bulldog though. Oh, and a punch to the face. Fireman's carry. Oh, it's going up. Oh, somehow misses the splash. I mean, oh, ooh. Massive open palm strike. Rocked her with it. Those can concuss you, you know. She's going for the pin off of that. So I mean, perseveres. Gotta... Oh, setting her up. Oh, this is how she beat Grace. She's got it in. Uh, Hangman's neck breaker. No, <laughs> not quite enough to keep the big girl down. Ooh. Ooh, popped her up into another flosion. <laughs> when she least expected it. That's... And that's the ball game. <laughs> Catherine Masawa moves on to round two. He certainly does. I have to give props to Ash, though, for weathering a, a quite a, an avalanche of offense there. But Absolutely. Could not fire back sufficiently in time. You can really, you know, I think I think it was a pretty clear demonstration of the uh, of the coaching and training that Harmony was giving her, but it just wasn't stacking up. The sheer power and grit and resilience of Catherine Masawa. Masawa, you know, she she knew what was up. She took it pretty seriously. Did not was not going to let herself, you know, be surprised. All right, well, folks. That's the final round two, so I, I can just show off here. Here is your, here is, final round one, rather. Here is your round two brackets coming up in the following weeks. We're going to have Harmony Gray versus Sonya Steele. BCO2 taking on Clover St. Patrick. Chroma Rush taking on Maybelline, former Mama Bear champion. And Robin Swan and Catherine Misawa in, in the, uh, the final round two match. Oh. If you like suplexes, you're gonna. But you That's gonna be a hell of a long. hell of a contest. But yes, until then, it's back to the uh, it's back to the other stuff. <laughs> I've word that we have tag team action coming up.
Demon and tag. Demon and tagon. Sneeze. All righty. Here we go. Oh, what? Well, it looks like somebody's on their way to the ring. It's King Fats, the 95th. Come to join us on commentary. Hey, Shakespeare, how you doing? Hey, the time has arrived. It's, been a, it's been a bit. Yeah, tag team action. I was excited. I wanted to come on down, take a take a little gander. You know I love me some tag teams. You know I love some, some tag team action, so I wanted to watch. Hey. Did y'all see that fucking Harvey promo earlier? What the uh, fuck yeah, I was watching that. <laughs> God. Oh, Zig, how's your wife and kids? Oh, we've such a wonderful stud. What a fucking stooge. <laughs> like, what what, what we? What is this we? I booked that match. I didn't book shit. I said, I'm throwing in my challenge. We're doing the gauntlet. And he's going to try and take my credit? This is, see, this is what I talked about. Harvey. Likes to act like he's so goddamn smart, and he's got he's got these lofty rules and goals. I fucking when when is someone gonna put Harvey Gatling in his goddamn place, huh? When is that gonna happen? Somebody just, is it gonna be? Do I need to do it? I'll do it. I'd love to do it. Well, I <laughs> I can't say that as he signs my checks, um, yeah, well, but valid valid. <laughs> But you know, I'm I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. It's 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 been a pretty you you've had a rough road coming up with your golden boys. Exactly. I've... And don't think I fucking forgot his fun little jankler's trick that he pulled on me when I had to do my first soul match. Oh, oh, Fetch Fetch gets the rest of the common rider. Cool. Yeah, real cool, Harvey. Now, this this is not going to be cool for local team. It's going to be great for King of Murder uh, and the Black Knight because they're going to get to do that murder. I mean, um, the local team is fucking creamed. Uh, I don't know. Is there not like a rule to get bloodshed in the ring or something? I mean, hey, Doug Ben, Doug Benson got that win over uh, or possibly Kid Sid. It was Kid Sid, wasn't it? <laughs> I think it was Kid Sid. <laughs> Kid Sid got that win over B. Can say. You know, they're, they're the on cool. the way up. That, no, 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 no. I need, I'm telling you right now. That win against Beef Tallow was an absolute fluke. And if they went to a bus the three series, fucking Beef Tallow would have reversed 3 0 sweep. There would have been an extra match that wouldn't have needed to happen where Beef would have beaten them again. Because that's just how much better Beef Tallow is than those two jobbers. Like, I don't even understand what he's doing there. Where, where Beef Tallow should be. Because he should be with me, the Golden Boys. Beef Tallow could do some work. And the Golden Boys. Well, I tell you what, I could see Beef Towel as a multi defense keep on rocking champion with us. Yeah, that is a real predictable future. You, you think Beef is the missing ingredient your boys need to, to help them recover after 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 I, their loss to the Kingdom of Murder? I, I think I think we are a missing ingredient for each other. I think I think it would be a mutually beneficial uh, relationship. What's not going to be mutually beneficial was that boot to King of Murder's head, though. 
I will. I, I'll concur with you that Beef is an incredibly skilled, you know, tactical grappler, and it's unfortunate that he hasn't achieved the success I kind of believe he could. He just uh, needs a little bit of guidance. Just a little bit of... And, I mean, it's certainly not like we lack experience. I mean, you look at some of the monumental Ws we got on our side. We got Crash. We've got the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Yes, you did hear right when I said inaugural. That means the first one. Uh, who also have, like... The mo well, obviously the most tag defenses. They were the first ones. They held it for the longest until... Well, and also still, just because... What? Uh, Dogs of War only had like two defenses under their belt, right? Yeah, they uh, had one successful one, and I believe their second defense they got it out, which I think ties them up with the new Funkadelics. Do the Funkadelics not have three? For some reason, my brain. Defenses? Three. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Fair enough. The, yeah, the. Unfortunate for the most part, the champs only wrestle on the pay per views. and uh, Yeah, that's true. It does not give you. Uh, it does not give you big numbers. To the Dogs of War's uh, credit, they uh, they had a match on a... They had multiple matches on In Your Face itself. <laughs> yeah, credit. But, credit, we're, but credit we're not, we're not here to talk about the Dogs of War. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we, we are here <laughs> Really, we're not here to talk about the new Funkadelics either. <laughs> and why aren't we? <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, half, this, half the members of this match beat them. Doug Benson, right, side right, headlock right, takeover. Right. He's got the king, king, king in trouble. Doing some some tag team work over there in the corner. I don't, I don't know if anyone has ever followed the sentence side headlock takeover with has got X in trouble, but sure. <laughs> Ooh, I I have a lot of respect for the venerable side headlock takeover. Who are you an NJF stand? Come on, now. Doug Benson, flying elbow drop onto the king of murder. Now he's oh the with the flips. Trouble. Flipping and dipping, King of Murder not thrilled with that. That is it. Big that's why. Friend. That's why Beef Tallow's, you know, a guy I love. He does, does the wrestling moves. Exactly. I mean, look at look at how much Doug Benson has improved in just one week of Beef Tallow Two. Which it's not going to be enough because the King of Murder is a murderer, and the Black Knight is probably also a murderer, but also is just insanely scary. I mean, look at him. But, he is a like, force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah. I, is he actually in full, like, armor? Is that legal? Can he do that? I mean, Scott Steiner wore chainmail. Chainmail. <laughs> this this dude's, like, in the full plate. He's got a helmet. I, a lot of people have helmets in Swamp. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, we do have a few helmet wearers. I don't know. It seems to people are letting it slide these days. The foreign object city up in this motherfucker. Oh, Beef trying to get that coaching in. Yeah, it really. said kick out. Oh, with and the big wing and neck breaker. The tutelage of Beef Towel. Again, I'm just saying. It's that tag. People with more talent. Ooh, and Doug gets clubbered with that line. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Spine busters him right into the. Oh, what? Do <laughs> you think Doug takes all the heat on the team because he's white? <laughs> Is Kid Sid not? Is he not? <laughs> <laughs> He's ethnic looking. <laughs> oh fine. man! I say isn't racist this month. It's Black History Month. <laughs> well, you're not wrong there, on one of those I'm points. Not to be <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a bit of a, a little bit of a mix up here with uh with the ref and Beef Tallow. Yeah, losing a little bit of co cohesion as well as far as King of Murder, but. We're in for a pin. Broken up by Kid Sid, though. Beef barking instructions, getting the, getting his team to He's survive. Getting well, a little too enthusiastic, though. That ref is, uh, that ref's getting a little, getting a little, uh, is he sent it? Did he send Beef away? Oh, wow. Has <laughs> he sent Beef to the corner? Oh, Beef, sweetie pie, not a good look. Oh, no. Well, I and mean, you know. That back suplex. Woo! <laughs> But Whoa. It, Whoa. it's time, it's, it's, time distortion elbow to the back. It's time for the baby birds to leave the nest. Cover. Can Kit, can Kit and Doug get it done with uh, without Beef? Well, you know, Beef's tutelage was probably doing some wonders, but I have to wonder, he's probably not 
<laughs> you know, I, I, he, he never pretended to be a teacher. I'll say that. So it's not not so surprising. Oh, oh the big that's DDT. How beef. That's how we beef. beef. <laughs> wow. Alright, Doug and Bruin do nothing. <laughs> King of Murder didn't even try to interfere. Clubbing blows in the black uh, uh, well it is a black suplex if it's on the black knight, I would assume. <laughs> Big drop kick. Gets it seeming with some momentum. He's and gets sent right over the edge. And back into the oh, ring the hard way. Right away. But I gotta hand it to Kid. He uh He's right back on the ball after, you know, getting that DDT kicked out of. Didn't let him. That's true. Didn't let it phase him. King sweeping up a pin already. Yeah, Oof. really. You can you can see the amount of respect King of Murder has for this match. Oh, arm uh, work ethic within Body's it. Like... Oh, God. <laughs> Just oh. taking him apart now. Well, shit. I do believe DDT King six. <laughs> No, is I, that going to be enough? I don't think he's angry. I think he's having a ball. I think King of Murder is full of he's joy right now. Time. Oh, Doug Benson slipping by the Black Knight there. Surprisingly, yeah. Keeping them alive. Good. Although maybe much to Kid Sid's chagrin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he Kid wants to... Get his ass right now. I think he was done. My man looking like he's in the quote retweets. Oh, Falcon, Falcon Arrow! Arrow. Does the deal! Nobody kicks out of the Falcon yeah, Arrow. Well, <laughs> certainly not Kid Sid. Oh, man. <laughs> well, not a great showing for Beef's boys here. Uh, he's coming back to check on them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good. Let's. I want to. I wanna, I'm, I'm going to go. Uh, have me a little conversation with uh, Mijo Tado. Uh, um, all right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, give me, give me, just give me, come on, see what it is. Give, give me, give me. As soon as these two leave. <laughs> oh, y'all really milking this one, huh? Uh, hey, you know, big victories. Uh, they're undefeated oh, yeah. as a tag team. Uh, mm. You know, we do. We're going to need tag uh, challengers for the, uh, for the. For the JoJo yeah. boys. These are things to consider. Well, King Fats is uh <laughs> is going to grab a mic and enter the ring. Uh Beef Tallow just just trying to get his boys back on their feet at this point. <laughs> playing to playing to the crowd <laughs> Pretty uh, serious plea by uh, King Fast in the 95th. Definitely a straightforward offer with no consequences. What's Beef gonna do? I guess we're gonna have to find out, but for now, 
It's time to set up our main event. Where did I put this man? Okay, folks, here we go. <clears throat> Following contest set for one fall is an, a falls count anywhere street fight. For the Keep On Rockin' Championship, the belt defended on every show. Oh, man. If, if, if trends continue, this is going to be a hell of a thing. Violence. Supreme. <coughs> Killian was the one who demanded it, but it feels like it's just... It's just been an energy that has been passed on to our current champion. It's giving him an edge. Making him, making him come to this ring real mean. Gotta like I know I know Big J is gonna respect, you know, what Killian did, the run he had. Yeah, he's gonna do his best to carry carry that supreme violence forward. He doesn't wanna doesn't wanna disappoint. Not Killian, not the <clears throat> fans, not himself. And hopefully not <laughs> this man right here. If there's anyone who's gonna answer that call outside of Big J, it's Sun Zapatas. folks there it is here's the challenger from uh where does sims pause from the open road <laughs> yep sims apatis that's right and your champion uh from albuquerque new mexico he is the current keep on rocking champion he's big he's big J. All 
All right, the match begins. All right. Immediate hard whip into the corner. Since upon us uh, fighting out. Starting with, with a bit of traditional wrestling here, <laughs> as traditional as Sins Pots can get, anyways. Big old headbutts to the back. Uh, this is what the people crave. Big, meaty men slap meat. That's right. Takes him to the corner, whips him to the other corner. Ooh, ducks the line. <laughs> Went for the punch, but got into a Manhattan drop. Mm. Bulldogs don't bulldog. get bigger than, <laughs> yeah, they don't get bigger than a big J Bulldog. Oh, <laughs> hip attack kind of off the mark there. Oh, springboard back elbow right into the big man's chest. Another one. Oof. Oh. Oh, neck breaker off the knee. Brutal. Since upon us, uh, I mean, we spoke a lot about Killian, and and his 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 reign as a keep on rocking champion is still talked about. It's not the longest, but it's made an impact that's still felt. And since upon us was part of that. The, the extreme rules style. He puts on bangers, that's for sure. Big vertical suplex. Dropping him from way up high, but his body is still fighting. Look at Fury. Oops, the corner gets reversed. He's slippery since the boss is really hanging in there. I think Big J is going to have to give him and the people what they want if he's going to make any progress in this match. Balls count anywhere, even inside Ooh. the ring. <laughs> it does. <laughs> the ring is included. Oh, another one of those back elbows. You voluntarily leave your feet in a match with Big J. You're taking a big risk, but since the pot has never met a risk he didn't like. I feel like that's the stuff he goes for more. Oh, my God. Just punched him out of the ring. All right. It's all legal out here. We're officially in phase two of the match. Oh, Going for like oh. a back suplex or a lifting DDT. Maybe that not uh, work. Neck breaker off the knee again. Ooh. Bulldog on the mat. It's going for a pin. Gets one slap. Ooh, jumping DDT onto the mats. Big J already on his feet though, and <laughs> throws him right into the pole. The ring post. Oh, it against the barricades. Oh God, just laying into him. Unforgiving won't stop. steel. And stony fists. Oop. Doesn't keep him out of it for long though. And what else do we have in mind though? Ooh, shoulder check. Doing a bit of a back and forth. Ooh. Oh, big headbutt ducked, but not that back body drop. Big J. Oh, he's looking to make some music. Goes to recover after that liver punch. Ooh, thrust Ooh. kick blocked. <laughs> he, just, he just blocked it like a DBZ character. 
Oh. Oh. Let's see what he can find. Guitars in the crowd. The people are offering their services. Oh. Yeah. Since upon us, the one taking it into the ring. That's a little surprising. Right into the dumping oh. DDT again. Sinzapatis may want it in the ring so he can employ some of his high flying lucha offense. Not wrong. Ooh, another big headbutt. No short supply of jumping DDTs. Ooh, and the big jumping bulldog. It's in the ropes, but it don't matter. Balls count anywhere, even in the ropes. It's just anywhere's anywhere. Oh! Makes him eat the feet! No, not enough. BJ gives him a toss for his troubles. He wants the weapons. He's getting a chair. Is it really going to be supreme violence if nobody gets hit with a chair? Oh! <laughs> when <it> was... <laughs> Neither man satisfied! The tease! I'm so angry. <laughs> Hit him with a chair! <laughs> it was something! <laughs> you had the guitar! It was right there! Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Double axe handle from the from the top from the of the top. outside. Uh, oh, onto a ladder it seems. It was getting pulled out. Oh. Pulling out the stairs. No! <laughs> He's just wrecking the <laughs> ring. Since the pot is making a mess of things. Big J stepping out. Oh god! Oh, he got baited. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, Big, J, Big J getting a little getting a little too frenzied out there. Realized what he had done. Don't want to mess with the ref there. What's he gonna do? It's no DQ. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Flops him under the table. Oh, since the pause is back right up and jumping DDT into the debris. I eats tables for breakfast. Hates him. <laughs> One crazy trick. Oh, oh Big J just stepping on him now. Sins of Potus wants to, you know, use this opportunity to find whatever he's looking for. Seems to be more chair. Oh, God. <laughs> he's going to have to do something different if he wants the time. Those elbows are brutal, but... But wait! Does he remember? No. Oh. He's just or going to the he? other side. Oh! Oh, there's a... The bat is on the floor. Oh, that's a baseball. Big elbow drops. Right to the gut, really taking the breath out of uh, the big man here. Oh, missed that haymaker. <laughs> Back to gut kick city here. Just brawling. Oh, big gut buster. It went for the low punch and got Manhattan dropped to the end. Oh, those punches are connecting. Oh, maybe looking for that not a dragon suplex on the outside, like he did to Yuri last week. Oh! Oh, he eats the feet! Right on the floor! On top of that bat? Oh, it's not Ooh. enough. The ref's thankfully there, because the camera crew seems to think <laughs> they shouldn't go over there. Gets nothing from that jumping DDT. But Big J needs to, he is, he is on the, the, the deficit end of the offense. Absolutely. Mm 
Ooh, big rising knees. Oh. Punch to the back oh, of the man. head. Ooh, went for that big old boot. The big old foot. Biting up the ramp. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Running elbows. No. Nothing fancy about any of that. It's just slugging it out. It's a it's a parking lot you know <laughs> schmoz. Absolutely. It's Denny's at 4 a.m. right now. <laughs> we are dedicated to this side of the ring, it seems. Oh god, it lifts them up to the sidewalk slam. That's how that's a quarter of a ton. That's a better angle. Oh god, the jumping bulldogs! Ooh, not Jay's still not done. Oh. Oh no. This is a double underhook suplex. Or suplex. DDT. DDT. Oh, and the cactus DDT it. on the outside takes it. <laughs> he asked for the violence. He got the violence. <laughs> And now, the crown once again rests upon the brow of Sen Zapatas. No shoes, one belt. <laughs> well, a shocking outcome. It looks like the supreme violence that was inhabiting Jay was might have been passed on. Here is your net, a new two-time belt holder. Since Zapatis, will his reign have any more luck? We'll have to just see next time. But that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, quite, quite the series of hard-hitting action, but we must bid you good night. Uh, for public opinion, I have been Action Shakespeare. Action the Brain Shakespeare. We're out of here. Good night, folks.